Mr. Neff here, another PE at home lesson. Today we're gonna work on jumping. We're gonna talk about the vertical jump, which is jumping as high as we can, and we're gonna talk about the broad jump, jumping as far forward as we can. And today we're just gonna do standing vertical and standing broad jump. You could also run and do these, but today we're gonna focus just on standing still and jumping. All right, so when we jump, we need a lot of power because there's something that's holding us onto the earth and that of course is gravity. So when we jump, we've got to break through that gravity to get our body into the air. So we've got to push into the ground as hard as we can to get our body up in the air. Sir Isaac Newton, famous philosopher, his third law of motion said for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So the harder you push your feet into the ground, the higher your body is gonna get into the air. So here is our learning target today. I can perform the vertical jump and the broad jump using correct form. All right, so let's talk about that correct form. The first thing, we're gonna do the vertical jump. We're gonna try to jump up high in the air. So we don't just wanna use our legs, we wanna use our arms as well. So your arms start out in front. You're gonna keep your feet about shoulder width, bend your knees, you're gonna swing your arms back, lean forward, and your arms are gonna come up. You're gonna push into the ground and jump up into the air. So let's try it here. So now we're gonna try the vertical jump. So the first thing you're gonna do is measure how high you can reach. So Allie here is gonna put her hand up on towards the garage. I'm gonna mark where her fingers are. And that, if you have a piece of chalk, help you out, all right? So now Allie is gonna stand next to that mark. She's gonna put her hands out in front. She's gonna bend her knees, swing them back, and jump, and try and reach up. Ooh, nicely done, look at that. Get right about there, all right? So now Allie's gonna try to beat this mark, that vertical jump, push into the ground as hard as you can. Woo! Look at that. She's all the way up here. Wow. Nice thing to do is you can take a ruler or a measuring tape. You can measure the distance between the two of these and see how far you were able to jump. Look at that. All right. So now Allie's going to keep working on this. She can work on this all summer and try to beat her mark and see how she can improve her vertical jump. Okay, now we're gonna do the broad jump. We're gonna see how far forward we can jump from standing still. So this one, same thing, put your arms out in front. You're gonna swing them back and forward, and then you're gonna jump. So I'm gonna get out of the way here. You guys go ahead and swing them back, forward, and jump. Good, and then when you measure, you measure from the back of your foot. So you can do a little chalk line on the ground. Mansi here is gonna be blue. Mansi got two 33 inches. Allie, why don't you jump one more time since you fell down. Allie, can you do it again? So you're gonna let me know how far you're able to do the vertical and the broad jump. And remember, we're standing still. Jump, jump.